Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire you. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the decor, design, and DIY projects I do here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a balloon garland. Now, I know I make a bunch of balloon garlands, but there's one step I never showed you guys and I had posted a long time ago. So I'm going to show you an easy way to put those 5 inch balloons onto your balloon garland. So if you would like to know how to make a balloon garland with easy steps on how to put those 5 inch balloons on your garland, please keep watching. Alright, so the first step is we are going to blow up our balloons. Now I used the balloons that I had in my closet. Most some of them were from Amazon, some of them from Party City. I will link everything in the description box below. Step two is to assemble balloons with the fishing wire. I've done multiple videos with this, but I will walk you guys through it again. So you're just going to make sure you're tying a knot with the first balloon. Obviously my preferred string is fishing wire, but you can use balloon string or anything that you find in order to tie the balloons. And then you're going to grab another duplet and then it's going to create a quad. Now you're going to kind of put pressure on the new balloons just stick them in roll it around on the other one the original one and then kind of loop it around the new one if that makes sense if not you guys can just watch the video Remember, don't tie the balloon so tight on the balloon garland because one or two things will um, happen. One, you can pop the balloons and then two, um, you won't be able to manipulate them in the shape that you want it. Step three is to measure the balloons on the wall. Now, I will be using command hooks to add these balloon garland to the wall, but you wanna kinda see how much balloons you have. A lot of people ask me how many balloons I use. I really never count. I just kinda do this, I measure it as I go. As I stated before, step four is gonna be placing your command hooks on the wall. I use these small command hooks. You can use the bigger ones. I just feel like it's not needed because the balloons don't weigh that much. All you're gonna do is snap them off and then you're just going to place the correct sticker on the back of it. Now, the sticker will have red for, well, black for the wall side and then red for the actual command side. So just make sure you're sticking it in its proper 
sticky, I guess you could say. <laughs> Step five is to string the balloons to the wall. Now, some of you may be asking, why aren't you just using the fishing wire? I just find out that it's a lot easier to use a balloon string when attaching your balloon garland either to a wall or a stand. It's just my preference. It's easier to see. I don't lose the string because that's what's happened to me in the past. I've also used zip ties in my previous videos and I just found out that the balloon string is way easier. Definitely leave me a comment below to tell me which one do you guys prefer. Do you prefer fishing wire, balloon garland, or the zip ties? Step six, you're going to adjust your balloons. Now, I've been trying something new when it comes to making my balloons bigger on the bottom. So what I've been doing is not cutting the fishing wire. When I'm done, I just kind of add the balloons to the bottom and just kind of continue looping them around in areas. However, this method was, I don't know, I'm still learning. So this wasn't the best method. If you have a better method, let me leave me a comment down below because I was frustrated and you guys will see in a few seconds. All these balloons they're just getting my nerves okay so I actually came up with a method of using a 260 balloon string and I will show you guys in like a few seconds so bear with me as I'm doing it Now step seven is to create five inch balloon clusters. Now I use a 260 white. Now I highly recommend that you use the color that your balloon garland is, but I had to use what I had. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna let out all the air in the 260 balloon and kind of stretch it out. And then you're going to make a knot without letting any air back in at the end of it. And you're gonna do this for all the clusters that you need. So shout out to one of my subscribers, K Martinez Carter. You had asked how did I put my small balloons and I had written a post about that and I finally 
can reveal it. Actually, I got this idea from Ask Me For Balloons YouTube channel, and I always give credit when it's due. So if you want to go check out her channel, her channel is pretty amazing, and she has a great following. So definitely check out her vid video down below. You're going to take your five inch balloons and you're actually going to blow up three at a time so i usually tie two of them together and then blow up a third one um and attach it to that duplet so that way it creates um three balloons in a cluster Then you're going to take your 260 balloon and you're actually going to tie it on the cluster. Now you're going to take your other cluster of five inch balloons and tie it on the other end of the 260 balloon, if that makes sense. This creates a rubber band effect, so that way you can manipulate and place these clusters of five inch balloons all over your garland with ease. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you do this before your event, whether you're going to an event or you're actually hosting an event, you will save so much time. I have found that if I do this prior to the event, which is usually the day before, put these in a garbage bag or a balloon bag, this cuts my time in half. Otherwise, I'm spending another 30 to 40 minutes trying to put all these together, and I just don't have that time. So I need things that are gonna be efficient. Shout out to Ask Me For Balloons YouTube channel. She actually is the reason why I know this method. So if you wanna see her video, I will link it down below. Next. Step eight is you're going to add the clusters to the balloon garland. Now you're going to fill in those gaps. You can stretch this balloon. Um, and then I always recommend at least wrapping it around one balloon and then kind of placing the other. Now you can stretch these as much as you want. So you make sure you have to hide it. Now if you had a black one, you, were, you wouldn't really see it. But at this point in time, I was just more worried about using what I had. 260s are a lot longer than I believe it's 160 that is sold so make sure you guys get the 260 balloons it will save you a lot of time and effort too when it comes to stretching that balloon This video is sponsored by Party Time. They have given me these amazing balloons that I'm gonna utilize in a three-part series. So this is definitely part one. And although Halloween has passed, I'm still gonna utilize it. I had gone caught up with a lot of things and I wasn't able to push this video out in time before Halloween. So you guys get a post Halloween where actually it might benefit you because a lot of the Halloween stuff is now on sale so if you're a person who likes to plan parties especially Halloween now's the time to go get them so this video is going to show you how to do a balloon garland utilizing a trick-or-treat balloon garland theme one thing I love about party times balloons it, it comes with all the necessary tools that you need so you just take the straw and kind of insert it and you shall see and it blows up pretty quickly and just seal it off and it's that simple Step number 10 is to tape the foil balloons. Now I just use regular scotch tape to tape the ends um, to the balloons because you don't want to see those little 
tags that kind of hang on the bottom or at the top now you can i recommend to string this and you'll see why in a few minutes but if you don't you can put tape on both where the string is supposed to go through so that way you can't see anything remember this is a sponsor video so of course party time has completely agreed to give you guys a coupon code and all that information will be located in the description box below step number 11 is to add the foil balloons to the wall i try to use scotch tape as you can see it was a huge fail i ended up using duct tape however i don't recommend that because it will pull the paint off your wall so do not use duct tape so if you like this video make sure that you know what to do give me a big thumbs up and i will catch you guys in the next video bye should have got my nails done for this video but the way my money was looking because of christmas coming up girl it ain't happening <laughs>